Hello there everybody, my name is BDFO18 and welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? Right, take a look at the latest cars from Gran Turismo Sport and tell you if it's worth it or not. Today we take a look at the Mazda RX Vision GT3 concept, a car that was added only today in update 1.59. So first of all, the stats. This car comes with a four-rotor Sky Active R engine, a concept engine developed by Mazda themselves that they are hoping to release worldwide in the coming years. This engine in particular pokes at 562 brake horsepower at standard, while only weighing 1,250 kilograms. Its top in-game stat is its speed, coming in at a 7 out of 10, and its lowest number being braking and cornering, coming in at a measly 4 out of 10. This car was originally a concept car announced at the 2015 Tokyo Motor Show based on Mazda's Kodo Soul of Motion design theme. This design was Mazda's answer to a challenge to create the most beautiful front engine rear wheel drive car they could come up with. To fit this car into its Group 3 regulations, this car draws inspiration from the concept engine of the now iconic Mazda 787B using a four rotor Sky Active R technology engine. So, is this car worth all its hype? Is it worth the money? Is it worth it at all? Let's find out as we put the RX Vision GT3 through the usual three tests, starting with the 0 to 60 to 0 test. So there we have it. All tests have now been completed, but how well did the RX concepts do? Well, I'm going to start off with the speed as usual. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Now, this car can handle going fast rather well and can hit speeds of around 150 to 155 miles an hour rather easily. But I believe it may struggle to hang with the likes of the Hurricane or even the Beetle during long straight lines. So a 6 out of 10 for the RX concept. Braking is being given a 6 out of 10 as well. The game does give it a 4, but I don't believe that gives this car enough justice. I can safely late break over 150 miles an hour into a sharp right or left hand corner without worrying this car. I don't have to worry about it flying off or going into walls or, or hitting other cars. The car seems to handle it extremely well, and I'm rather surprised that the game only gave it a 4 out of 10 for that. 
We're into the hat trick. Acceleration is also a 6 out of 10 for me. This car reaches 60 miles an hour in just 3.5 seconds and 100 miles an hour in a further 3.2, making this car quite rapid off the line and a good car to choose in my opinion if you're looking for an early getaway at the start of a race. Next to the handling and I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10 mainly because the car does like to slide into corners slightly especially the sharper ones. It kind of starts by pulling you in and then slightly pushing the back wheels out which in turn does make you lose time, can create overtaking opportunities rather easy for your opponents. So not the best handling car although this is only on racing hard to this test so with softer tyres your problem could be completely diminished and you could be fine but on racing hards only a 5 out of 10 from me. And lastly, the value. Now, this car costs 450,000 credits in-game, which is a good price for a Group 3, I must admit. It's pretty average. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10, because with better compound tyres and a little bit more power, this car could actually be an elite Group 3 machine. And once you perfect the style of the car, it could be one of the, if not the, best Group 3 release to date. It looks the part. It drives the part. Handling is slightly, uh, it's not the best, but it can be fixed. So, 7 out of 10 for value. Added up, and the total score for the Mazda RX Vision GT3 concept is 30 out of 50. So a good score for a very good car. Now I hope this review did help you. If you did like the review, why don't you leave a like rating on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'm back tonight at 7pm UK time with the live streams. So make sure your notification bell's on so you know when I'm live. And until then, I have been BDF018. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.